This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Alright, back to the lobby! Human beings are multifaceted creatures. It's not uncommon for someone who seems one-dimensional at a glance to reveal a dramatically different side even under light investigation. Many people don't stop at being two-faced. There are plenty of us out there with three or four. A simple case might be a scumbag who sometimes plays the good guy, or vice versa. These multiple faces are part of what makes people interesting, but they also complicate our relations with others. The people living in this dorm are no exception to the general rule. Sometimes I wonder if Makina even thinks in Japanese. Her actions and words are so garbled. Sachi's extraordinary obedience and obsessive honesty are equally mysterious. Anyone could guess that there's more than two that meets the eye. But Amane can be oddly evasive and poker-faced at times as well. And even our mentally derailed airhead Michiru, wow, she's probably the least mentally derailed, has markedly uncharacteristic moments. I think it's safe to conclude everyone here has a something of a hidden side. That's why they're here. Say what? I'm killing time in the lobby after school when Makina suddenly approaches me with a strange question. Dere? By which you mean what? Is that the same Dere from Michiru Sundere? The lovey-dovey side of a split personality? Dere is, by now, a fairly common slang term. Where the contrasting soon suggests a pointed, hostile attitude toward others, Dere implies the complete opposite, a sweet and friendly approach. The widely known Sundere personality exhibits both behaviors, creating a strong contrast or gap that many find attractive. Apparently! I don't know why they do! It seems to me like that is one of the least attractive things. Personally, I'm not particularly well informed on the subject. While I have some interest in the pseudo Sundere Machusima Michiru as a subject of observation, my curiosity is entirely directed towards the less artificial elements of her personality. True? The Sundere attribute itself isn't especially interesting or appealing to me. Yes! Thank you! In short, I really don't give a damn. To ask a question like that, I think you first need proof that Sakaki has Dere dependencies. Or, at the very least, concrete grounds to support that conjecture. Do you possess any such evidence? For starters, I ask Makina about the premise underlying her question, on the off chance that there might be some rational thought behind it. Look, kid. No, I don't. You call her a princess, nobody else does. Not really. That would certainly be a striking contrast. In that respect, this theory of Sakaki seems to line up with the standard Sundari concept, but... I have to say, though, I don't think she really fits that neatly in the Sundere category. I see. Kudere, is it? I have no idea what that is. I've picked up this term somewhere as well. It seems the popularity of the Sundere concept gave birth to a variety of subspecies. Oh no. The Kudere, in particular, proved durable enough to gain its own semi-independent status. Unlike the outright aggression of the Soon, Ku suggests a cool, indifferent attitude. The Kudere feigns apathy, keeping others at a distance by means of apparent disinterest, but secretly craves intimacy. Oh, that doesn't sound as bad. To date, Sakaki Yumiko has certainly demonstrated a consistently cool attitude, if not the lovey-dovey side of the equation. Makina, do you want to make Sakaki go into dairy mode? For what reason? Okay there, psychopath. I see. If Sakaki herself happened to hear that response, things would probably get it even chillier. But I guess it's foolish to hope for anything more from Makina. Are you expecting to accomplish something by complaining to me? You want me to cooperate in turning Sakaki dere? Da! I quietly fold the newspaper I'd been reading earlier, stand from my seat without a word, and walk off toward my room. <laughs> Just as my hand reaches the doorknob, Makina's round face reappears before my eyes, her shoes screeching on the floor. Do I have to? Unfortunately, I have no interest in any of this. Go try the others instead. 
計画はお兄ちゃんが参加しないとうまくいかないんだってば。Pass. Why? それはほら、ユミちゃんだって女なわけだし。True. Well, it's true enough that I'm the only male in this dormitory, but I don't think that really works in my favor when dealing with Sakaki. If anything, quite the opposite. She seems to see it as something of a strike against me. I don't think that really makes. Hey, Makina! Without even waiting for my response, Makina shoves me back toward the lobby. Oh no. I don't want to do this. A group meeting for this crap? That night, everyone except Sakaki gathers in the third floor laundry room. This is harassment. Amane and Sachi、uh, seem to be operating as normal, but Michiru apparently forgot about the meeting and had to be dragged out of bed. She's stifling a weary yawn at the moment. At the center of the group, Makina gleefully surveys her troops and then begins to speak. Last time something like this happened,、uh, it did not end well for anybody. You are genuinely insane. Spreading a large sheet of paper on the table, she writes the letter Y with a permanent marker, circles it vigorously, and adds the note Operation Dare to one side. This is the stupidest thing. Well, no, it's not. This is creepy. I have a question. Why are you using military time? I do not want to manipulate people now. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Sachi. I agree. <laughs> You're right. We should grow a little backbone in standing up to things like this. Amine and Sachi respond at once with outright pessimism. In the first place, we've been forcibly dragged to this point on the assumption that Sakaki has a hidden friendly side, and that it's nothing more than a guess based off of a common personality type. A common personality type in fiction, not even in real life. There's no real reason to believe that pattern has to apply to Sakaki. Amine has known Sakaki the longest among all of us, for what it's worth, and she's clearly not buying into the idea. It seems entirely likely that this Dere Sakaki is something of a Bigfoot, the product of an overactive imagination. What's more, we're talking about a woman pro to moon bl the swain blades around when provoked. As Sachi says, if we adopt Makina's likely rash and aggressive plan, there's a possibility we'll suffer some casualties. But just when I think we've reached consensus, one of the group reacts differently. As a PT, pseudo Sundere, with a contrary personality of her own, perhaps Michiru is being subtly influenced by the possibility of discovering a comrade of sorts. In any case, unlike the rest of the group, she seems genuinely intrigued by the idea. <laughs> This is giving me flashbacks to the meeting they have in Winnie the Pooh where they agree to cancel Valentine's Day, but that seems more reasonable. She does smile, but they're usually smug smiles or like a he 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 smile. Not really. It doesn't seem like it's a true joyous smile. Everyone's staring at her. Wow, rude!
いいのですミチル様普段のどうしようもない言動とのバランスを取るためにあえて友達思いっぽい言動を混ぜて均衡を保とうとするその心 Stop crapping over this girl, please. I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 I can't tell if they're just trying to do nice stuff to her so she gets happy or if they're like trying to just psychologically manipulate her. I'm, I'm leaning towards the latter. Yes, I'm not sure. Thank you, Sachi. <laughs> I'm not. I feel like the goal has shifted slightly from the original Dere objective. But it seems like our motive is now slightly more respectable than Makina's desire to amuse herself, so I'm not going to complain. Yeah, this seems like an improvement. Okay, so I guess the next question would be what sort of operation do you have planned out, Makina? Makina flashes a toofy smirk, takes her marker in hand once more, and confidently scribbles the words compliment carpet bombing in the center of the paper. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, no, you know what? I could do that. Option number two, we give her money. Offer guys in there too. Like, if somebody compliments my t shirt, like, that sticks with you, you know? あんたもその生き物だって自覚あるあ、確かにストレートですけど聞きそうな作戦ですよねそっかそもそも作戦ってのはもうちょっとこう交渉で何回のやつの方がいいような気もするんだけどこういう道ちる様のようにパスタ食
Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna f skip through all of this. This is not good. Okay, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. Yep, so- <laughs> Makina got punched, that's funny. Because <laughs> she's being weird. <laughs> okay, now you're being very inappropriate. Okay, no, we're, we're, no, we're just gonna get enough- No, no, this is not good. Uh, no, 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 yeah, you're freaking her out. Yeah, why, what, why would you do this? <laughs> Oh gee, I just don't know why she would be uncomfortable in this situation. Wow, that was a rude thing to say. Wow, okay, yeah, this is bad. Let's not have that ever again, okay? Yay, hey, back into the hallway! <laughs> Let's not have that again. Yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, you look great. <laughs> no need to stalk past me without a word, is there? Maybe not, but I don't think many people could take that as a valid excuse for completely brushing off your classmate. Look, she just had a very uncomfortable time in the group bath. Nothing in particular, just trying to be reasonably friendly myself. <laughs> Come on, if it's nothing to get angry about, scowl like that and you're just putting your beauty to waste. <laughs> Oh, on what, specifically? Can't say I know what you're talking about. I can't believe she noticed that. <laughs> they all sighed at the exact same time that my condo's garage door opened, so it was very loud on my end. <laughs> The group's heavy sighs resound throughout the lobby. Yeah, cause y'all were tactless. Next, our strategist mumbles an admission of defeat. We continue to stubbornly press Operation Dairy until the very end, but our barrage of compliments never produced anything resembling a positive reaction. Quite the opposite, Sakaki's strengthening resistance prompted frequent retreat. Well, I guess it's only natural that you get a little suspicious when everyone you know suddenly starts complimenting you simultaneously. Yeah, you think? Very true. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just think this plan was a terrible plan to begin with. Well, in any case, I suppose we now know that Sakaki doesn't react to this sort of flattery. <laughs> I told you we should have taken her to the Italian restaurant and given her free lasagna. That would have been a way better plan. <laughs> I think that idea was good! And so, Operation Dare fails to produce the desired change in Sakaki Yumiko. If anything, it seems to have brought her attitude from cool down to outright chill. Oh no, le gasp! Who could have seen that coming? The next day... I'm heading to Sakaki's room in order to drop off a package of hers that arrived in the group mail delivery just now. <laughs> it's weirdly shaped like an AR-15. I wonder what she could use it for. Normally, I'd just leave it be, but this cardboard box was large enough to protrude dangerously out of the mailbox. I've decided to bring it to her directly. Is Sakaki in? At this hour, she should probably be somewhere inside of the dorm. There's no sign of her leaving this morning, so her room is the most likely possibility. Sakaki? It's open. The door to Sakaki's room stands slightly ajar. Sakaki's normally pretty careful about her privacy, so this is a distinctly unusual situation. Before I realize it, I'm peeking through the opening into her room. This is not good. Hey, Sakaki? And in the center of that room, I'm startled to find a spectacle quite unlike anything I've ever witnessed before. <laughs> Please tell me she's, like, shooting a gun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> she actually did like the compliments. That's kind of cute. <gasps> is she doing the little twirl in the mirror? Okay, that's that's adorable. She is! Oh, wow. 
When she notices we're standing here, that's when she's gonna break out the gun. Aw, this is actually kind of cute. Your dad made the school. He probably tailored the uniforms to look great on you, regardless. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty cute. <laughs> UPS! <laughs> Machina, stop playing the, the keyboard with the harp settings. <laughs> Sakaki. To summarize this behavior in one phrase, out of character would be most apt. Sakaki twirls in front of a full-length mirror she's placed in the middle of her room. Must, muttering happily to herself, she examines her features one by one, grinning broadly all the while. That's cute. It's hard to believe this is the same Sakaki who shot down Machina's operation. Let alone the woman whose approach to social interaction cycles between disinterest, rejection, and the occasional fit of homicidal rage. Is this... Dere? Muttering a foolish question to myself, I pull my right foot backward in an attempt to retreat. Uh-oh. <laughs> but the door groans on its hinges and Sakaki spins around to face me. Uh, just, the, just your local UPS delivery man! Mail just came. You got a big package, so I came to drop it off. I'll just leave that here. It's the gun. It's gotta be the gun. Uh, she's okay. We Everyone was aggressively complimenting her and being really weird and awkward about it, but she, it turns out she actually appreciated them. And now she's extremely embarrassed for us to have seen her appreciating them. It might be kinder to say I wasn't, but unfortunately I'm an honest man. <laughs> is it? Congratulations on the small butt. Wow. Break out the handgun. Come on, do it. Oh, I see. Okay, then. See you later. <laughs> I close the door and break into a full arm-pumping dash away from the scene. It's not that I'm particularly afraid of Sakaki's attacks, but... I don't think there are many people out there who'd willingly choose to get slashed at by a box cutter. I'm certainly not one of them. Especially given the sincere promise of violence in Sakaki's eyes just now. But, that's Dare, alright. No matter how slight it may be, no matter how well hidden it is, it's actually kind of pleasant to know that Sakaki does have that side to her personality. Every human being is a multifaceted creature. Seems that rule of thumb applies to Sakaki Yumiko as much as anyone else. <laughs> 